This guy is a stunner. Look. back today in the fish room in today's video i'm just going to give you guys a quick little update on everything that's been going on in the fish room and future plans of the fish room so starting off i'm gonna go ahead and start off in the 75 gallon right here i ended up getting rid of my uh black widow front toaster today i found a new home for him because he was starting to get a little aggressive with every other fish in this aquarium so i just think it looks a little bit better so one step closer to getting species only aquarium in here also have, I have these dragon bloods and then this Maduka white lip right there. And then other than that, it's pretty much species only. So I gotta get them guys out of there and figure out what I'm gonna do with them. And also in today's video, I'm probably gonna be giving this guy a new aquarium. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably do that here in a little bit after I talk to you guys a little bit about everything that's going on in the fish room. So my guy, Tony, Tony. You know, he's as good as ever, just chilling. But yeah, I got these dragon bloods right here. And a lot of these guys ended up spilling into the tank, getting out of there, of course, which in the last video you see me adding uh, some lion's coat frying in this aquarium as well. And I'm just absolutely loving this. So the other fry I have down at the end of the 125, I'll show you guys them in a second, but I don't think I'm gonna add them into this aquarium anymore. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add them in their own 40 gallon breeder up here where this guy is at because he's right now currently he's the only fish in this tank at the moment so i'm gonna get him out of here and get all the mother guys into this tank eventually not in today's video but probably in the next coming up videos if you guys want to stay tuned for that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you a little bit about this tank down here let me go ahead and change the light setting or turn on my uh the next stingray light all right so don't don't mind the uh, dirty glass, it's a little dirty. But yeah, as you guys can see, everything else, everybody in this tank's doing great. The only thing is, is I sold the big starry night out of this aquarium as well. So she doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. I found her a good home, so huge, super happy about that. The tank is just looking amazing. I just think that, I mean, she did good in this aquarium, but personally, I just like it a little bit better with just the peas and habs in here, so. But yeah, I'll probably end up taking out some of the smaller fish in here that aren't thriving as well either. Probably take them out of here eventually and get them into a different tank and get them guys power feeding and everything else. Especially this albino OB because ever since I put him in here, he's just not thriving at all. He's lost all his color. He's getting skinny because he's scared to come up and eat. But you'll have that. I'm going to get him a different tank here soon and hopefully get him back thriving. So... But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and step back up here. Ivory head Melodos are doing great. There's a couple females in there uh, holding, so I'm super excited about that. All right, making our way down. All right, so in this tank here, this is where I'm gonna be adding that uh, iceberg into this tank right here. And then this is the fry that I was talking about earlier, adding into that 40 gallon breeder that that fry rise in. I'm gonna be catching these guys out eventually. You can see that they just stirred the water all up. But yeah, I gotta give this tank a mandatory two times uh, a week water changes, like 90%. So super excited about getting these guys upgraded and hopefully less maintenance on myself. So that's coming up here soon. But today I gotta get that, get that tank empty so I can add them guys in there. So I'm also going to go ahead and give you guys a quick update on this tank right here. In the last video, I added a bunch of fish into here out from my other 40 gallon. So everybody in this tank is doing extremely well. Besides, I did have my errata start doing what erratas do. And I've had no issues out of that guy until I put all them other fish in here. So now he's down here in this 10 gallon all by himself. But I might be giving him to a buddy of mine or eventually trying to put him back into the into that main tank but i don't know we'll see what happens um oh yeah look at this this is pretty what cool the hell is even that? out of a uh, 
old filter uh, cartridge for uh, what what filter is that like a Marineland 350 cartridge or something and a little bit of uh, a crate that I had laying around made a nice little divider it's kind of ugly but it's definitely gonna do the trick it should work great and it's saved me about 20 bucks so but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get down in that tank and get the bucket full and ready to catch this guy out of here so pick up the camera here in a second now back to your regularly scheduled program all right guys so i got the bucket filled with water and i gotta go ahead and get this guy caught out of here but i'm also debating on catching my ob peacock that i've had in this tank for a while he's all by himself make make the clear this tank is out as well besides the pictures catfish that are in here but i haven't decided yet so but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get this camera set up to catch this guy out and you guys will see that footage right all right here. guys so there really wasn't no order for me to set the camera up so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to catch this guy one-handed and one net even though i usually use two nets so it might be a little longer guys so bear with me Tripping out, tripping out. Oh, I'm fast as fuck, boy. Stick out of my way. I don't really want to make this tank a whole mess either, but looks like it might have to be. Oh, I'm just destroying this tank. Got him. Look at wow. that. that guy is absolutely beautiful. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and catch this guy out real quick. I probably won't record it, but I'll... I got these guys acclimating in these buckets, but while they're acclimating, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about this aquarium right here and tell you about what's been going on in this aquarium and feed these guys also because they're always hungry. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and drop some in. So, you notice everybody's eating besides this guy. He'll eat and he spits them back out. Just iceberg fry right, and he doesn't look as good as he used to. So that's been happening for about two weeks now. I've noticed that he isn't thriving as well, and he's eating, but he spits it right back out instantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and be taking this guy out of this aquarium here soon too, and treating him. Every other fish in this tank looks great. I also have one in my basement tank that's kind of doing the same thing. So I'm just going to treat these guys at the same exact time whenever I move them out of here. And also about my Malawi eye biter. He got his eye bit. <laughs> as ironic as that is, somebody bit his whole eye out in one bite. And I have no idea who it is. But yeah, other than that, this tank's been doing pretty well. And I've been trying to find out who's picking on these uh, BODs. But come to find out that I think that they're just fighting each other nonstop. So, well, not nonstop, but I caught them going at it earlier today. But you'll have that. Hopefully, everybody will resolve their issues eventually. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let these guys finish acclimating and pick the camera up here in a few. Oh, yeah, look at all these fish, all these uh, Lapidu Chromas blue otters. They're all holding. There's how many's in here. Actually, they must have just spit them. Because like two seconds ago, they had it. They all had huge mouthfuls. You see that one still got a big mouthful of babies. But the other ones must have literally just spit them. You see them just hide away. Which is the mom and these guys. Which they just tore up the tank even more. So they're all skittish because they're not used to the light being on. But yeah, I guess you'll have that. Oh wow, there's one in here with this whole tail bit off. But yeah, these guys are going to be getting an upgrade here soon. Uh, like I said before, this tank's so overstocked and they're outgrowing it that I got to take care of it two, three times a week. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade, upgrade them guys here soon so I don't have to go through all the hassle of taking care of them. Well, not taking care of them, but you guys know what I mean. Whatever. Uh, 
I'll catch you guys here in a few when these guys are acclimating and getting ready to add in the tank. See you then. process of doing the water change on this tank real quick i got a little bit more draining to do but before it gets too low i'm gonna go ahead and get get ready to add these guys in this aquarium and i'm gonna start with the ob so i'm gonna swoop this guy up which he's pretty good size it's probably almost six inches look at that guy absolutely beautiful he's got a nice body shape to him he almost looks like a little bit calm down there buddy whoa wrong way Look at that guy. He's probably gonna be excited to be back in the whole community and fish. So, you guys are already looking pretty good in here. He colored down a lot since I had him in the bucket, but that's typical, what to be expected. But, all right, let's go ahead and get this iceberg out of here. This guy is a stunner, look at him. He's absolutely beautiful. Choo. And oh yeah, I hope nobody messes with him. And of course, the star sapphire is going after him first thing, but. Can't even see where he went. All the fish are hiding under there. But yeah, I don't know where he went. He literally disappeared. But I'm really hoping I don't have any issues with that guy in here. He's probably one of my top favorite fish, so. Hope all's good. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let this tank go ahead and finish doing this thing. I gotta finish draining it and then fill it back up and I'm gonna pick the camera back up when everything's done doing, whenever I'm done with the water change. So you guys will see me here in a couple seconds, but it'll probably be about 30 minutes plus for me. So see you guys in a few. All right guys, what are the chances? The two fish that I just added in this aquarium are going at it big time. And I expected it maybe out of anybody else, but not the two I just added in here. It kind of don't make any sense, but it's looking like it's this OB that's the main aggressor. He's chasing everybody out of this little cave, so he's going for straight dominance instantly. But I'm sure one of these uh, starry nights or somebody will put him in check eventually. But anyways, I still got to go ahead and finish filling this tank back up. For now, I just went ahead and cleaned the glass, as I always do with every tank. Every time I give it a water change, I also clean the glass because might as well. It's a little easier when the tank's drained down. But anyways, I'll catch you guys here in a few minutes. I just wanted to show you guys what was happening while I'm doing my maintenance. All right, guys, so another quick little interruption before the end of the video. I just wanted to go ahead and throw this in there that I ended up taking that OB out of the other tank and adding him into my basement 125 just because I already have a few OBs in here and he was just causing terror in the other tank so I figured I'd just go ahead and remove him now while the water's low and hopefully he'll settle into this tank and be just fine. But anyways I'm going to go ahead and get back up there once that tank's done filling and pick the camera right back up. Alright guys so I finally got this tank filled back up and everything plugged back in but i wish i would have waited because as you can see the water is super cloudy right now which is because when i plugged the filter back in it spit a big old cloud of dookie out so but that's typical tank's looking really good uh this guy's doing really good in here as i said before i did have to take the ob out of here because he was causing a lot of issues but the only other fish that looks like it's going to give me any issue is this eureka red right here this is also the tank boss and he's pretty feisty. So he just is kind of chasing this guy around, but it seems to stop. So fingers crossed that I don't have any more issues in here. And here soon I'll be taking all these Labadochromus blue otters out of here. That's the male. That's one of the females. I got three or four females in here. I'm gonna be setting them guys up their own little tank here soon. And I also went ahead and gave these guys an 80% water change as I, while I had the Python out. So. But that's probably it for today's video, guys. If you guys like today's video, if you guys could do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stay up to date and see my future videos of the fish room and kind of stay up to date with what's going on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. But for today's video, that's probably it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.